So this lesson is a continuation on my last Vesper lesson, and this one is just to do an example of a compound that has an expanded valence shell. We're going to use the example PCL5 for this. So I'm just going to take you through the steps on how to draw a Vesper diagram of PCL5, how to recognize that it has an expanded valence shell, and what to do at that point. So to begin, you're going to draw out PCL5, and you're going to draw it with just single bonds. So once you have this done, you're going to do the same calculations that we've done for our other compounds. So the first calculation is how many electrons do you have? In this case, phosphorus has five electrons in its valence shell. There are five chlorines. They each have seven electrons in their valence shell, so we have a total of 5 times 7, which is 35, plus 5 is 40. Now how many electrons do we want? Well, each of our atoms, and we have six of them, wants eight electrons or a full octet. That means that we need, or we want, 48 electrons. All right, now you're going to do the step that tells you how many bonds you need, and that's by taking the number of electrons that you want and subtracting the number of electrons that you have. That'll give you eight electrons that would be in bonds, and every bond has two electrons. So you need four bonds. So at this point, you should notice that you have a problem. You calculated that you need four bonds. But if you look at the PCL5 diagram that we already drew, you know that you need five bonds. That means because four is less than five, you have an expanded valence shell situation. Now, what do you do at this point? Well, you're gonna take the number of electrons that you have and you're gonna subtract the number of electrons that you know have to be in bonds. Well, you know that you have five bonds. There's gonna be two electrons in each of those. So 30 electrons are your lone pairs. And you're gonna place those around the chlorines. If you have more than you need around those chlorines, anything left over is gonna be around the phosphorus. Now at this point, many students are gonna ask, well, what, how do you know that you don't have a double bond or a triple bond? Well, in almost every case I've ever seen, there are no double and triple bonds in expanded valence shells. Now once we've placed all those electrons around the chlorines, we count them up, there's 30 of them. So there will be no lone pairs around the central atom. Now, if we look at the central atom, there are five bonded pairs and no lone pairs. That means that the molecular shape and the geometric shape are the same, and they are both trigonal bipyramidal. Hope this lesson helped you. Have a great day.